everyone. In this example, I want to show you how you can create a layered visualization in Power BI with a transparent background. Let me show you a live example so that you get a sense of what we are trying to create. As you can see, we have a small map here, but if I click on the map, the background becomes transparent and the map expands. We can zoom in so it acts like a visualization and I can click on the close button to go back to the original page. We want to see how to create something like this. And this will be a step-by-step -step demonstration where I'll be working from scratch. The file is also available on GitHub so you can go and practice it and also see the steps and see how it has been created. The first thing I want to do is to create a page with certain visuals on it and maybe a colored background as well. So I'm going to go to format and then in the canvas background, let us choose an image and I will be selecting a slightly interesting background like this. And let's change the transparency to 0%. So we get this gradient at the back. On this, I will create a column chart. And here we can keep order date and sales value. Next to it, we also want to create maybe a map. And in this, I will keep the country like this. Now, what we would like to do is to show the country inside an image of some sort. So I will go to PowerPoint. We will go to insert and then select icons. And here we want to choose something interesting. So I will go to cut out people and let us select maybe something like this. That looks good. Let me save it on my desktop and we'll call it temp. I will go back to Power BI and then insert an image. And from our desktop, we will select that image. We'll make this a little larger. And what we want to do now is to select the map and put it in the front. And what we are doing here is to make the map come in the front. So we will go to view and then selection. And then in the selection pane, I just want to move my map as the first layer. Yeah, I think that seems good. Perfect. Let's make the map a little smaller and keep it inside this. We don't need the title here, so I will go to format and we will remove the title. And then on the FX, everything seems good. So yeah, we can work with this. Now the objective is that I would like a user to be able to click on the map and it should expand. And the entire page that you see right now should get grayed out or become a little translucent. So the first thing we want to do is to duplicate the page. So I'm going to call this my main page. 
and this is by duplicate and we want to copy the same thing so in fact i'll right click and duplicate it that would be better and on this page what we would like to do is to keep this entire page as an image as the wallpaper so i'm going to delete everything and from the main page we will take a screenshot let me save it on my desktop i'm going to call this temp2 and then on the duplicate page we will go to format and then canvas background and we are going to choose a different image which is this one now because this is an image what we can do is to increase the transparency a little bit so that it looks like this or if you would like to make it let us say a little grayed out or black and white i can also go to powerpoint paste the image here in the picture format we want to recolor it so in the color or rather in the let's do the color only so in the color we'll make it like this so we can choose any tone that we want if you want to recolor it so i'm going to choose this and make it a little more transparent okay so save as picture let me save it as temp2 come back to power bi let's replace the canvas background so now it looks like this i think that looks great what we want to do now is to select the map copy it come back and paste it here and we would like to make this a little larger so what i want to do is to make it quite large and then put it in the center of our dashboard but we would also like to have a close button so that the person can exit this and go back to the main page so from powerpoint we want to insert another icon so insert icon and we want to choose something like a close button so i will choose close and i think this looks good let me insert it let's also change the color here before saving it as a picture so on graphics format i will change the color to red right click save as picture and then save it on the desktop let's call it close and save it as a png back on our power bi report we want to insert one more image that would be the close button like this i think that looks good what we want to do now is to create an action on this image so that it takes us back to the main page so we will open the action we want to create a page navigation which would be to the main page as you can see when i click on this it takes us back to the main page now the only problem is that this is a visualization so i can't really keep an action on the visual so we have to be a little smart here i will insert a shape could be any shape i'm going to choose a rounded rectangle we'll keep it on top of this and i will go to style and then in the color we'll make it 100% transparent and also remove the border and in the action we will create an action for a page which is the duplicate page so think about what we have done while the user doesn't know this we have kept 
a blank shape in front of the image and the visual, which means that when I click on this shape, it is going to act like an action and take me to the duplicate page. So look at the final result. I will just come here, take my mouse and then click. It takes me to the duplicate page and I close it and it takes me back to the main page. This is of course a very simple demonstration. And once you do it a few times, it just becomes second nature. And being able to create actions like these is very useful because for the end users consumption, this is A, going to make things very interactive for them. And B, it is going to create that wow factor.